ever found yourself torn between the glamorous world of style and amp, beauty and the holistic realm of health and amp, wellness? This is a common struggle for many, especially when it comes to deciding on a primary focus for business initiatives. We're living in an era where the world is our oyster, brimming with opportunities. However, with this abundance, a paradox emerges, the paradox of choice. This paradox isn't a new concept. It's a psychological phenomenon where too many options can lead to stress and difficulty in making a decision. In the context of business, this paradox can be quite a hurdle, especially when you're at the crossroads of choosing a direction for your enterprise. Now imagine two paths in front of you. One, a path adorned with the glitz of style and beauty, where every turn is a fashion statement, every step a touch of elegance. This is the mega niche of style and beauty, a world that thrives on aesthetics, creativity, and personal expression. The other path is paved with the principles of health and wellness, where every stride resonates with vitality, every breath, a testament to well-being. This is the mega niche of health and wellness, a realm that centers on holistic living, personal growth, and well-being. These two paths, while distinct, share a common thread. They both cater to the evolving needs and desires of people. But how does one choose between them? How do you decide which path will be the primary focus of your business? In this video, we'll unravel the process of selecting a primary focus, particularly looking at these mega niches. We'll explore how to navigate the paradox of choice, how to identify your niche, and how to integrate your choice with your business initiatives. So, sit back, relax, and let's embark on this journey of discovery together. The first step in selecting a primary focus is simple. Just choose one. Sounds easy, right? But in the vast sea of opportunities, it can be quite challenging. However, the beauty of focusing on one mega niche at the start is that it allows us to channel our energy and resources effectively. It's like aiming at a single target instead of scattering arrows in the wind. You see, when you start with one mega niche, you're not just choosing a field of interest. You are aligning your brand's identity, your core values, your unique selling proposition, and your target audience all in one direction. It's like setting the compass for your business journey. Take, for instance, the style and amp, beauty mega niche. It's a world filled with shades of creativity, self-expression, and transformation. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good, inside and out. It's about the confidence that radiates when you're comfortable in your own skin. And when you align this mega niche with a brand identity that resonates with aesthetics, it creates a synergy that is both powerful and persuasive. Imagine a brand that stands for the transformative power of style and amp. Beauty, a brand that celebrates individuality and self-expression. A brand that, like the USA flag and eagle, symbolizes freedom. The freedom to be yourself, to express yourself, to embrace your uniqueness. It's a compelling narrative that can capture hearts and minds. And here's the beauty of starting with one. Once you have established a strong foundation in one mega niche, it becomes easier to branch out into others. It's like planting a tree. You start with one seed, nurture it, and watch it grow. As it grows, it branches out, reaching out to the sky in all directions. Yet it remains firmly rooted in the ground, anchored by a strong foundation. This is the power of starting with one. It's not about limiting your options. It's about focusing your energy. It's about building a strong foundation that can support your growth and expansion. It's about creating a brand identity that resonates with your audience and stands the test of time. Starting with one mega niche creates a strong foundation upon which you can build. So take that first step. Choose your mega niche, set your compass, and watch your brand soar to new heights. Dive deeper into your selected mega niche. Welcome to the world of micro niches. The journey from the broad expanse of a mega niche down to the targeted terrain of a micro niche is like a thrilling ride down a winding river. It's all about honing in, getting specific, and targeting that unique sector within the broader category. Now, imagine the vast mega niche of style and amp beauty. It's teeming with possibilities, isn't it? From the glitz and glamour of high fashion to the understated elegance of minimalistic beauty, there's a whole spectrum to explore. But hold on, we're not here to be jack of all trades and master of none. We're here to carve out our own little corner, our micro niche. Consider this, style and amp, beauty for onstage performance. 
This is a micro niche that speaks to a specific audience, performers, those who need to shine under the spotlight, whose style and beauty game needs to be on point, not just for the gram, but for the grand stage. This micro niche caters to their unique needs, providing them with specific solutions for their specific challenges. Or how about another example, personal branding. Now, this is a micro niche that's all about individuality. It's about helping individuals create a unique style and beauty narrative that aligns with their personality and goals. It's not just about looking good. It's about creating a visual identity that tells a story. These are just two examples of micro niches within the style and amp, beauty mega niche. But the possibilities are endless. You could specialize in sustainable beauty, vintage fashion, or even beauty solutions for specific skin conditions. The key is to find that one micro niche that resonates with you and your brand's values, and that meets the unique needs of a specific audience. So why are we talking about micro niches? Well, it's simple. Micro niches allow you to target a specific audience and meet their unique needs. It's about being a big fish in a small pond rather than a small fish in a big ocean. It's about making a significant impact in a specific area rather than spreading yourself too thin. So let's dive deep into the world of micro niches and make waves that matter. How about a talent search to spice things up? Indeed, a talent search can be a dynamic, engaging way to build your brand and connect with your audience. But it's not just about finding the next big thing in style and beauty. It's about creating a platform that celebrates individuality, creativity, and a passion for the aesthetic arts. Imagine a series of events or online competitions under the banner of your brand. Each event could be tied to a theme within the style and beauty mega niche, starting with on-stage performance or personal branding. The potential is boundless, but how does this link back to your business strategy? Well, consider this. Each participant brings with them their unique audience, their family, friends, social media followers. This is a ready-made, engaged audience for your brand. It's organic marketing at its best. Furthermore, these talent search events could promote your affiliate and white label programs. Each participant could become an ambassador for your brand, spreading the word about your offerings and creating a ripple effect of brand awareness and engagement. It's a win-win scenario. They get the platform and the exposure. You get the word of mouth marketing and brand loyalty. But let's take it a step further. What if your talent search could identify brand ambassadors or spokespeople who embody the qualities that your network promotes? This could be your Eagles Team Search, a flagship event that merges the patriotic and aspirational qualities of your brand. Imagine the stories, the inspiration, the connection this could create with your audience. In essence, integrating a talent search into your business strategy could be a game changer. It's not just about finding talent, it's about creating a community, fostering a sense of belonging and promoting your brand in a way that's authentic and engaging. So let's start the search. Let's shine the spotlight on the talented individuals within the style and beauty niche, and let's create a platform that celebrates their passion and creativity. A talent search can create buzz and excitement around your brand. It's time to start the search. Are you ready? Now let's bring it home, literally. Imagine this a local chapter of your brand right in the heart of your city, a beacon of style and beauty, a hub for talent and creativity, an incubator for those who aspire to shine. This is where the magic of local engagement begins. Local chapters are not just about physical presence. They are about creating a community, a sense of belonging. They are about fostering relationships, nurturing talent, and amplifying the voice of your brand. They are about connecting, engaging, and resonating with your audience on a personal community level. Think of a local chapter as a mini version of your brand, tailored to the unique culture, style, and vibe of its city. It's where local beauty enthusiasts can gather, share, and learn. It's where they can explore the latest trends, discover new products, and even showcase their own style and talent. And it's not just about style and beauty. It's about health and wellness too. It's about promoting a holistic approach to beauty that encompasses both the inner and outer self. It's about empowering individuals to feel good, look good, and do good. But how do you establish a local chapter? It starts with identifying a need, a gap in the market. Then it's about finding the right people, the right location, and the right resources. It's about planning, strategizing, and executing. It's about continuous learning, 
adapting, and growing. And remember, a local chapter is not an island. It's a part of a larger network, a part of your brand. It's about creating a seamless, harmonious experience that aligns with your brand's vision, mission, and values. So as you embark on this journey, keep in mind the power of local engagement. It's more than just a strategy. It's a commitment to your community, a commitment to your brand, a commitment to style and beauty. Local engagement strengthens your brand's presence and fosters community growth. And with that, it's time to bring it home, literally. Your journey doesn't end with implementation. Feedback is your compass. As we navigate through the vast expanse of style and beauty, it becomes essential to have a reliable guide. And that's where feedback steps in. It's like a compass, always pointing you in the right direction, helping you stay on course. Feedback is the pulse of your audience, your team, and your strategies. It's the whisper in the wind that tells you what's working and what's not. It's the mirror that reflects the reality of your efforts. Without feedback, we're like a ship sailing in the dark, without any indication of the shore or the rocks ahead. In the context of style and beauty, feedback can come in many forms. It can be a comment from a viewer who loved your latest tutorial, a suggestion from a team member on how to improve a product review, or data from an A-B test telling you which thumbnail draws more clicks. Remember, feedback isn't just about praise or criticism. It's about understanding. It's about learning what your audience needs, what they value, and how you can better serve them. It's about recognizing the strengths within your team and leveraging them. It's about identifying weak spots in your strategy and fixing them. Collecting feedback is just the first step. It's what you do with it that truly matters. Use it to iterate, to refine, to optimize. If a tutorial didn't resonate as expected, find out why and fix it. If a product review was well-received, understand what made it click and replicate it. If a concept didn't test well, don't be afraid to go back to the drawing board. Feedback is not a one-time thing. It's a continuous process, an ongoing conversation with your audience, your team, and your own strategies. It's your most reliable tool in the quest for improvement and innovation. It's the key to staying relevant, to growing, and to truly becoming a force to reckon with in the world of style and beauty. So, don't shy away from feedback. Embrace it. Seek it. Learn from it. Because feedback helps you iterate, refine, and optimize your strategy. Now that we've covered the process, what's next, you may ask? Well, it's time to put the wheels in motion. Let's break it down into manageable steps. First off, you'll want to immerse yourself in the content that resonates with your chosen mega niche. Watch the videos, read the blogs, and absorb the social media posts that are making waves in the style and amp beauty world. This will give you valuable insights and spark off ideas that you can tailor to your own brand. Next, you'll need to conduct some market research. This isn't as daunting as it sounds. Reach out to your network, conduct surveys, or host a focus group. Your aim is to validate your initial choice and gauge whether there's a strong resonance with the style and amp, beauty niche. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand your audience, the better you can serve them. Once you're armed with this information, it's time for some strategic planning. Consider how you can integrate the chosen mega niche with your existing platforms and events. How will the style and amp beauty focus enhance your affiliate programs? What unique angle can you bring to the table that sets you apart from the crowd? Now comes the exciting part, testing your ideas. Start with a pilot project in your chosen niche. This could be a mini event, a series of social media posts, or even a small scale talent search. The aim is to test the waters, see what works and what doesn't. It's all part of the learning process. And finally, don't forget to iterate. Take on board the feedback you receive, learn from your experiences, and refine your strategy. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's all about taking small, measured steps towards your goal. So, there you have it. A roadmap to help you navigate your journey into the style and amp beauty mega niche. It may seem challenging at first, but remember, every great journey begins with a single step. Take that first step, dive into your chosen niche, test the waters, learn and refine your strategy. Choosing a primary focus might initially seem daunting, but as we've seen, it's a journey of strategic choices. It starts with selecting a mega niche, such as style and amp, beauty, that aligns with your brand identity. Then, it's about finding your micro niche within it, like beauty for on-stage performance. 
Integrating a talent search concept can add another layer of engagement, connecting your brand with potential ambassadors. Local engagement, through initiatives like the Eagle's Nest Chapters, fosters a community around your brand. And remember, feedback is crucial. It helps you refine and enhance your strategy. The next steps? Watch relevant content for inspiration. Conduct market research to validate your niche. Plan strategically for integration. And finally, test and iterate. The power of focus lies in its ability to provide direction and clarity, to cut through the noise and help you build a strong, resonant brand. Remember, by starting with one focus niche, you create a strong foundation to build upon. So what's your choice going to be?